to Majori Lockdown Lessons. These lessons are simple craft ideas that you and your children might want to make with items that you're bound to have at home even at this time. Today's fun piece of jewellery is this necklace which can be worn asymmetrically as I am. Uh, for this necklace you will just need a couple of t-shirts. If you have some old t-shirts um, then go and root them out. Uh, ideally you want two different colours to make this kind of effect but even if you didn't have two different colours, that wouldn't matter. It would still look pretty cool. So go and dig out those old t-shirts and I'll see you in a second. So when you've got your t-shirts, you need to cut. Now this t-shirt had a curved end, so I've cut that off, so it's gonna be straight. Then you need to cut two strips just across, cut very carefully and ask for help if you need help cutting. It doesn't matter if they're straight or not straight because uh, there's a magical element to t-shirt material that you're about to see. And here it is. So when you get your t-shirt material, pull. And pull. I've joined them together. There we go. So I have what? This is from one cut of material. So you pull it and you've got this awesome t-shirt yarn. This is the stuff they sell in Tiger. Tiger Tiger or Tiger um, and you can buy balls of it it's amazing but obviously you can't go shopping there just yet um, here we go two strips just like this and then if you have another color that you want to use go and grab that now and I'll show you how we do this little bit here okay so I'm using blue because it's a different color it makes it easier to see also, it should have quite a nice effect when you finished your necklace. So I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna leave quite an end there because we're gonna need that later. This bit's the super long bit. I've, I've taken quite a bit. We're gonna wrap it around 20, 30 times. It depends on the thickness of this string, but we're gonna get a nice effect. So the two sew, sewed bits are here, one, two, and I'm holding them together with my left hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm using my left hand to hold and my right hand to do this. It will be the opposite if you're left-handed. This strand, I leave it hanging down. And this super long one, I'm gonna start wrapping round. Now I'm gonna keep my thumb in place and I'm gonna wrap one, two, three, four, five. I'm able to move my thumb away, which is good. And I have got them just lying next to each other. If you're using t-shirt yarn, or if you're using wool, it's so much easier to crisscross. It doesn't matter too much. Um, I think this might show more, so we'll keep watching. I'm gonna do, let's see, maybe 10 more, one. To, I would speed this up, but it's so faffy on the uh, editing system and I'm not doing DIY lessons to market my brand. I'm doing DIY lessons to help you guys cope during lockdown. These are just such fun things that to do with children, I think it keeps them really, really occupied. And to be honest, even I, I wear this quite a lot actually and I, I think it's really fun to be able to make stuff with what you have around you so that's the whole point of this. Okay so in other words I'm apologizing for the quality of the videos but I think we can all be forgiving and manage with that. If you do have any questions please pop them down below if this is on YouTube please send us a message if it's on the website gmajori.com if you're on Instagram um, you can direct message me, etc. Okay, so I'm carrying on without even explaining. I have done lots of wraps. I'm gonna stop. So I've got the super long bit. I still have this hoop sticking out. The super long bit, this is where the magic works. Find the end of wherever the bit you've been ro rolling round. I said the wrong words there, it doesn't matter. The wrapping, that's the word I need. So whichever bit you've been wrapping around, for me it's super long. Yours might not be long, it doesn't matter. 
uh, we're about to thread through the loop that's there. Right, thread through. And remember we've got this end down here, hold this end and pull. Now what magic you should see is the whole thing coming together and basically the knot that you're forming at the top end should tuck itself under and cover those sewing bits. Oh, if it doesn't cover it, it doesn't even matter, but it should go under. Now, if you're using t-shirt yarn, it's perfect material for this because it's the same material, it works really well. If you're not, you'll have a slightly different effect, like in my case, that's fine. We work with what we've got, right? That's the whole point of this time. So, cut and put it down. I've left a bit extra. Mine hasn't tucked under, but that's because I'm using a, um, a different cord. So, point being, you've got quite a cute and fun, swap them over, necklace. And this one's got this lovely turquoise band on it, so I could wear it up there if I wanted to give it a bit more prominence. I'm getting tangled with this rope in my jumper. If I wanted to give it prominence, I wear it like this. However you want to do it, even if you wanted an armband. I know that might work with some as well. Point being, whatever you do, this is just a t-shirt. And if you wanted to do that same knot along the way, you could do different rainbow cords and even cover the whole thing. That's another adventure. Whatever you have to share, please share it with me so I know what you're doing. It'd be lovely to see. Uh, you can share your pictures if you hashtag lockdown lessons. Um, message me, comment in the YouTube box. Uh, I'd love to see what you've made and how you get on. So for now, have fun with your t-shirts, necklaces. Bye.